Well, welcome to today's edition of Tech Savvy. Uh, today we're looking at setting up multiple email accounts on an iPad. And uh, at this moment in time, I'm hoping to be able to do that and show you that. And uh, I'm just waiting now to see if I can uh, get this traveled across to my iPad. I have a little video to show you. So let's see if I can change this. So how we do this is actual uh, iPad and Apple accounts are the same, uh, whether you're using an iPhone or you're using um, uh, your, your, your iPad to actually have those email accounts. And you can have endless, multiple accounts going into your iPad. Uh, there is no limit to that. Uh, so what I've done is I have actually done a little video. Uh, I can't take you through the whole process because of uh, um, password security problems, but I can explain to you uh, what happens and it will be explained in the video as well. Uh, what you need to do is to have your email password as well as your email username and those items you enter in to the iPad's questions. It'll prompt you, if it's Google, it'll talk to about your Google account and ask you to put your password in there. Once that's achieved, it will automatically find that password, that username, and install it onto your iPad. Now, if you're using um, a different kind of client that doesn't appear in the list, uh, you can do the same as well, but you use the other option that you will see, which is really important. Okay, so uh, fingers crossed. I hope I can find this for you. And uh, yes, let's have a look and see if we can do this. So just while I'm talking, I'm just going to my Dropbox account to see if I can find the video, whether it's transferred across, uh, which is a really important thing because um, <laughs> I had to record it on an iPad and then transfer it across to my um, account. And videos transferring via email is a very difficult thing at the best of times. And I've usually found the best ways to use a, a third party software or cloud based storage system to send that from your iPad iPad into this system. And it works brilliantly. It's very good at it. And I've used G Drive and I've used Dropbox to do that. And, and so I've found effectively that, that that is the best way that this can work. So I think we're about ready. I'm just going to go and uh, go across to Steamyard and just uh, click on the share screen option. Make sure that sound is shared and that the application window is set. Okay, so go to the Chrome tab. Here we go. So now you should see um, the little video. So let me play this through and uh, do by all means um, make your comments on this video presentation for Tech Savvy. So what you're seeing here is that this is being loaded up and we are going to go to settings, I hope. And that's going to be seen. Yes, there we go. And we're at mail. And uh, if you go down the list, you'll find that mail appears on the left hand side of the screen here. And then the accounts appear in the mid section, just under mobile data. If you press on that, it will take you to multiple accounts. And as you can see, there are multiple accounts there for all the different sectors of work. Now, I'm not, not thinking that you would have as many as those on your account. But um, I can certainly say to you that um, you can certainly add more to your account. It seems to be fairly endless that you can use that. So right at the bottom, it says add account. Press that. And uh, say, for instance, we take Google now and we press on Google. This will 
um, take you to the Google setup and uh, you would certainly find that you, you would be able to put in your Google address and password there. You can see the one at the bottom, other, and uh, that will that will also allow you to put in, say you've got a Virgin email address or a TalkTalk Talk one. As long as you've got your username and password, you can put that in. Now, obviously, I can't show you all those details because it's uh, uh, really uh, against G GDPR, but trust me, it does add those accounts to your account and makes it a very useful tool to actually enable you to get your emails in there. So again, you can, you can put in your password and all of that will, will bring your account in and put it onto the um, account for there. So just to say, uh, Microsoft Exchange and Outlook.com, just to explain there is a difference. Exchange is, is when you're using Office 365 and Outlook.com is the free version of it. So really, that just concludes how you might want to use this kind of thing with your um, Apple account. And uh, you can do that on the phone. And what you get is these things down here, mail and contacts and calendar. If you're using all of that, you can import that into your iPad device. So um, it's quite, uh, quite flexible and powerful to include all those things. OK, so I'm going to stop sharing my screen and come back to me now. Um, that, that really is how simple you can make that happen. Um, Sometimes it takes a little bit of time for the account to verify itself with uh, the account, especially if it's an exchange one where there's loads of data to come in. Um, but uh, it truly makes it easier to find your emails and to have more than one account. So if you need to use that feature, then this is a this is a good way of getting that onto your iPad. So I'm going to play a watch party after this broadcast and uh, I'm sorry, would have said 11 p.m. That's that's a mistake. I'm really sorry. That was not meant to happen like that. Um, for this, it is 11 a.m. And this is Tech Savvy. And what we're going to do next is play a watch party. And of course, if you've missed episodes of Tech Savvy, you can go to our YouTube channel where all of these are actually online and visible to you. So that's it for today. See you next week. Bye for now. Thank you for watching.